Hey guys, welcome back to another fire alarm testing from the field video. Today's system is a older elementary school that recently had the system replaced. I have a video of replacing this fire alarm system. The panel at this school is an NFS 320C from Notifier and our devices are system sensor L series white horns and our smoke detectors are system sensor 1400s and we have 270 SPO pull stations and lots of the Edwards 280 series heat detectors and some newer system sensor ones and yes I know the 280 series was recalled. The school's got so many disconnects in this electrical room. There's this one, not sure what it's for. Uh, new wing heating panel. New wing is not any means new. And we've got heating main, lighting main, and the actual main, and two meters with when the CTs go somewhere. The donuts are probably in. Which one's sealed up? Not sure. But they do it where you have two different meters because back in the 50s when the school was done, you would be charged for two different usage. You'd be charged for heating, your heating service and your lighting service. They were charged differently. I'm not sure how like, what cost difference was or which was more or less, but you had two different electrical uh, costs for two different services, heating and lighting. You know anything about uh, you know this feeling? Go for it. Here it comes. Oh. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay, there we go, that should be shut down now. That's not very loud, is it? I put those on high volume too. So that little reflective thing on the T-bar there means there's a heat detector above the T-bar drop ceiling as well. So now in the furnace room here, you'll still hear the contactors and everything shut down. There you go. You could hear this guy here. Fire alarm shut down, fire alarm fan shut down. That would normally shut down these furnaces, but I've got them disconnected. There we go. What's it supposed to be, 65 decibels, or is it 55? Either way, it's pretty quiet in here, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just opening up all the rooms. I'm doing pull stations, and I will do smokes, and I'm opening up all of the rooms, making sure everything's ready. For detectors to get tested. Each one of these rooms has this school is not sprinkled at all. This door is actually kind of scary. Like, that'll kill someone. Got it. Something's still stirring. That's, no, never mind, that's just fan. Forgot the big floppy one for the heat detectors in the gym. Got it. This has got to be one of the worst schools because of that crawl space. Got it.
Good setup. Is that a 281 recall? Not a life safety device. Why do we have to test it then? We're testing life safety systems. I don't know. Seems silly. Can we have to test it even better? No, if it's just for. If it's only for. If we're having to test it and if a heat detector is only for property protection, then we should have to test security systems too, because that's just for, that's just for property protection, not life safety. Is the furnace room fixed or is that what I'm okay to do? Is that 1024, right? It's a 135. It's not a fixed temp. Turn you on the other side or just one? Just one? Just one, but I'll tell it. Is this the noise maker here? Yeah. done the front one twice now and doesn't seem to set off but we hear the click from the relay so I'm on there again reset here the one that actually in 1019 doesn't want to go off Edwards 281 series eh I guess that's why they're recalled you know the majority of them what kind is it the old Edwards, but it's not going off, and I've had it on there now for two minutes. It's not going. Edwards 281C. Hey. Noisy ballast. Oh. Did you pop it? This one just popped. To get us the ladder tools and... Yep. This Edwards 281 just popped. I'm gonna replace it here with this new system sensor one. Hey, we're lucky. I think it's just 14. Their color doesn't make any sense. They've got black and red on one side and white and blue on the other. Shouldn't you have white and red together and blue?
Now I'm going to change that other detector that wouldn't activate earlier. There we go. New detector is up. We just popped another Edwards. 281 series, I believe. Not doing too good. That's three for this school today, and I remember last year it was like three, so. These are definitely recalled for a legitimate reason that they don't activate, so. Yeah, it's still. There it goes. New detector. New detector is installed, now we're just gonna test it. We're gonna have a whole bunch of high up ones in this gym here too to do later. Yeah, there is one up here on the stage. This one goes off, it's got a cage over it. Sounds good to go here. I'm gonna go for this one, is that okay? Is that, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, is now. Okay, it's ready. Okay. I'm in the annex, now we call it, it's the addition to the school, it's a separate building, the only bit well, it's connected, but it's only connected by the roof. So all the power, data, fire alarm, you name it, all goes through the roof.
Don't pop it. Don't pop it, man. Come on. Oh, that's right. These are the ones that are the paint. The heat detector behind the light fixture, so you gotta push it out of your way. Three, each classroom. All right, this is gonna get boring. I should get a stick or something to push the fixture to the side. You broke it? Set this one on low volume out here when I did all these horns, but Blue volume is quieter on these than I think it is on the advanced, and these don't have a medium volume. So I think they should almost get bumped up to high volume. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe it's loud enough, I don't know. I don't know. Now we're on to doing the high up gym heat detectors. We've got the special heat detector tester. This is different than the short ones we use. It's got a wider head. It's got a wider head on it to go around the, the cages. And these are the ones you hope you don't pop them because then it's then you gotta get all the way up there to change them. So one. Nick is an asshole at this today. If you were wondering, I couldn't figure out how to get the crawl space hatch open, so that's why I was a assful of dumbness today. So here is one of our crawl space hatches. We have this one, one on the other side of the gym because this was an addition to the gym. One in the middle of the school and one at the other end of the school. Bunch of crawl space hatches because there's a whole bunch of heat detectors down here. Where is this? I'm not gonna test these on camera, this is too difficult. Okay, here's the second crawl space entrance at the front door. So, these suck. And I've gotta keep going all the, all the way down there. So, it's not a job to be claustrophobic in because you gotta climb over ducks things. All right, I got all those done. Gonna turn the furnaces back on. Well, there we go. That's another school done. Another fun day of fire alarm testing. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and give this video a like. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. Anyways, consider subscribing. That would really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching.